So is it. Yeah. Now, here's the egg. Yeah. Find us some eggs, Zoe. Can you find us some eggs? Let's go. They've all been laying here. There's white ones too. There's, and they're different chickens, eh? That lay the white ones. We got an email this morning from a big British newspaper uh, asking me if uh, I would consider ourselves to be a feral family. How rude! Feral? Family, us. I was like, sure, totally, 100%. That's if you mean feral in a good way, right? Don't go to school, check. Don't wash our hair, check. Don't live in a house, check. Only wear secondhand clothes, check. Don't buy anything new from the shops, check. Live in a forest, check. Play all day, check. Play with mud all day, check. Literally, as I got the email, the kids were just into their third hour of playing in our mud kitchen. actually really cool if you ever get the chance to play in a mud kitchen I recommend it you get right into it make these like triple layer chocolate mud cakes it's a dream come true so apparently there's a TV show in the UK at the moment and it is about these feral families and I've heard that it's actually quite good it sort of follows some unschooly families who or parents who are doing things a little bit differently and actually it seems as if it's actually pretty good, so if you get to check it out, then do. I'm gonna YouTube it later. Feral means wild, it means undomesticated, it means in touch with your kind of animal side, and all of that is really good stuff and stuff that the human species should be valuing. People could come into our life and be like, oh look, your sofa's all ripped. Why is everything a little bit broken. <laughs> it's uncultivated, our life is uncultivated, but we're not prepared to cultivate our lives at the cost of the planet, which is what is being asked of us when we're told that we need to have only new things to look shiny and fancy. We're consuming things and it's breaking this beautiful earth. We refuse to do that, so actually we're proudly feral when it comes to stuff. And we're all proudly feral when it comes to behaviour. <laughs> we want our children to be in touch with that kind of instinctive thing that we all have inside of us. That kind of animal spirit that can um, guide us and show us what our hearts really want and need. So yeah, we're raising children to listen to that voice rather than a voice of a random authority. And me and Tim are learning, even as grown-ups, to do that to not just nod and do the things expected of us, but actually listen to ourselves and to trust our instincts and um, take a bit more of a walk on the wild side. So if all of that stuff makes us feral, yeah, we're feral and proud. Or we're just reclaiming the word feral and saying, you know what, it is good and healthy to be in touch with the wilderness spirit inside of us. Are you a feral family? Let me know, I'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe and definitely keep radical.